Hey everybody, Mike here. Welcome to the channel and welcome to a new video in my 3D code series. Now, today we're going to be talking about the Select Path tool and uh, it's awesome. It's something that can help you to uh, create um, oddly shaped areas and it's uh, very cool when you are, for example, modeling sci-fi stuff. That's what I use it for anyway, right? But you can use it for anything. Okay, so that said, let's start in our uh, 3D Code Startup menu. We're going to go to the Poly Modeling tab. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the left and uh, move up. And we're going to go to 3D Primitives and we're going to click on it. And then I'm going to go up to this menu and I want to start off with a cube. Okay, so we're going to click on our cube, get in a bit closer. We're going to go in here. We're going to increase the division count. So we've got something to work with. And now that I'm happy with this, I'm going to go up and click on Apply. So we're committed to that shape, all right? Okay, so from here, we can go to the Select Path tool. Now that's just a few steps above, right? So one, two, three, Select Path, here we are. Now from here, we can go and click on a vertex. Let's select this one, for example. And then you just move to the next vertex you want to have. So let's do this. So you click once. And we're going to create an interesting path here. And you can go over if you like. So let's say go here, go here. Do something like, uh, I don't know, this, this. You get the idea, right? Okay. And then we'll get in here and we'll go here, here, here. Now, it's clicking on vertices, but when you want to close the whole space, the last one you have to drag to here, right? So you click on it with your left mouse, and then you drag it to the end, and then you hit enter. So now you have that whole selection going on, and it's very fast and very convenient. All right, so now that we have the selection, there are a couple of things we can do. For example, we can bevel it, right? So we're gonna get a bevel. All right, and then this is what it comes up with. But of course, we can play with it. Um, we can move the number of segments if you like, right? But that wouldn't be ideal in this situation, but we can, right? I'm not going to do it, though. Uh, we can change the bevel size if you want it smaller, something like so. And let's say I'm happy with this selection. What I can do now is I can go to my Select tab. I can go up to Faces. I can... Uh, uh, make that selection a much much smaller. Let me try that again Like so right click and drag to lower that selection in right and then we're gonna go in here And I'm gonna click on one and shift double click on the next so I got the entire selection going on and then from here I can hit the space bar I can go to my extrude tool which is right here extrude faces and then we can go and extrude them so let me grab this arrow. I can extrude them in or out. Let's do out, why not? Okay, and then we go up here to select, and then we hit Control D to get rid of our selection. And then we have this detail. Pretty sweet, right? So yeah, there it is. That's all there is to know, I would say, to get started with the uh, Select Path tool. Uh, hopefully it's helpful. Hopefully it will help you to create whatever you envision, right? Well, that's it for me. That's it for this video. Uh, if you enjoyed it, you know what to do. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, and I'd love to see you guys in the next one. Bye.